guys, Colossus here with another Gears of War Judgment video, this time I'm showing you the Easter egg on the li library map. It's a really cool Easter egg, and the reason I'm showing the pictures that are throughout of the, uh, the COG member, or whoever this guy is, uh, I think he's the original founder of the COGS, but I, these pictures are key to the Easter egg anyway, so I'm just trying to show you what they look like and where they are. And then we'll get straight into actually how to do this easter egg which was originally found i think by some spanish guys and i'll try and put a link to their video in the description if i can find it so anyway what we want to do is we start up here uh it's just the walkway up to the one shot the secret passageway that everyone knows about now just hit the button go straight up the steps now just across on this wall here there's a like a cog gear uh, that that sort of tells you step by step how far you've gone fire in the hole so to start it off you need to throw two grenades up here. you do need to get to the right spot and it does need to be two grenades otherwise that painting will not drop if the painting doesn't drop that pit of paste it won't drop so what we do is you shoot the paper the screen goes black then all of a sudden the whole feel of the map sort of changes the um, color scheme sort of gets this grainy overlay on it a nice little effect now we come through here and I had a bit of trouble with a bot with a Vulcan who I thought was a real and I was gone I'd have to start recording but no I'm just down with the pistol that's how I roll uh yeah so now here's the first painting you can see it's just changed slightly he's uh sort of got like a worn face on him and this evil look to it and then shoot the bits of paper next to it and they get bullet holes in the head so that's the first one this is a pretty cool easter egg, uh, but uh, it's definitely worthwhile doing. You can do it in multiplayer as well, the single player. Uh, you can do it on your own. It's a little bit easier to do it with some friends, uh, a bit quicker, but yeah, it's, it's good fun to do. So, I think that was the what, second photo, now we come over here. This one here can be tricky, that bit of paper inside the painting sometimes can take a few shots to, to get it to activate. Um, I know I tried it in one. One time it took me about five or six shots to actually get it to trigger, but just keep trying, it will work. Move on to this one here, the paper here is just hidden up next to the lamp. Tricky one to find that one actually. So there's about, I think it's seven photos altogether that you need to go through. It's really cool, so basically this is the only way that I know of where you can actually fight like a kind of reaper kind of character. Uh, it doesn't count as a reaper towards your ribbon and your badge and the skin, but it is just a cool little easter egg to find. And you can actually get a bushka out of fighting the guy and beat him on this map. So. Yeah, that, there should be two more I think now. I don't know what I'm doing. I heard the bot <laughs> the bottom with the vault and I was that here so, Straight through here. Yeah, this dude here, he's got papers just under the chair. Shot in the eye hole, like that. Yeah, also what I haven't done um, is you need to pick up ammo like that. You're going to need the grenades to fight the Reaper. You're going to need grenades and the boom shot. Go in there as armored up as you can. Sometimes it actually pays to get the boom shot, wait for it to respawn just to get the, that extra ammo. He's extremely strong and he will destroy you if you don't go in there prepared. And I learned that the hard way a few times. Pick up the ammo here. Now we just head back on over to where the original painting was that we had dropped down with the grenades. Straight back up to the one shot. What you'll notice when we go up there is that, uh, that gear that I pointed out earlier. Each point on the gear is now lit up to show that you've done all the steps. So you're there now, so we come in, walk in and just look at the painting and this really cool effect happens, so I'll just let that go. Yeah, it comes out, and now we shoot the painting in the face. For the final step, shoot him. Shoot him. There we go. And there we go. That's the Reaper there. It's not really a Reaper, but that's the skin of the Reaper. Anyway. But yeah. But this dude takes some serious damage. Like, look at this. So far, he's had two grenades, two boom shots. And I think if you stop shooting at him, his health uh, regenerates really quickly. Even this, I'll just keep shooting him with all the booms and it will not kill him. 
so I get desperate, pull out the pistol, think I'm gonna die. Somehow I managed to take him out. I was just lucky he didn't pull out the bushka on me. Uh, most times he will grab out the bushka, but uh, yeah, so that's it, you do that. And then after a couple of seconds of running around, you will pop out through the bottom of the sniper sniper tower there. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. That's the glitch, it's cool. Good fun to do. I hope you guys have fun trying to find it. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So I guess I'll catch you guys later.